Thanks for some very good advice I got on YouTube. I am now uh, insulating the posts on the circuit breaker. Just with some uh, very good heat shrink. Lovely. Now heat shrinking the base of the bolts that will be holding in the shunt. I'm using cable ties to stop the uh, heat shrink from sliding down too far, keeping some metal showing at the base of the bolt. Okay, we've installed the inertia switch, uh, which is pretty cool. So that will go off if I have an accident, like so. Here's an action replay. And to reset it, I just press this button. It's quite cool. Well, apparently my batteries have arrived, so I'm on my way to the office to go and collect them and go and chuck them in the car. Here's all my new babies straight from Auckland. Just got to get them in the back of the van and then we'll take them home. It's well so far. Well, it's looking good so far. I just have to remove this piece of metal, which I did on the other side, uh, so I can get that last battery in. Otherwise, they fit in there with a little bit of room to move, which is good. I'll secure them properly soon. Then I've got one more battery to put in there. And down the back of the car, it's a bit dark down here, but you can see the six in the back fit in okay. I'm now going to create a base for the batteries to sit on and the box surrounding the batteries. Then I'll get a clamp down created to hold them all down and then a top section of a box which I can take on and off to put water in the batteries. Right, the battery box base is halfway done. Oh, this is Rob's handiwork. Leave it alone. <laughs> right, here's the base platform for the front batteries. It's looking good so far. Alright, the box is in, it fits. Now I'm just going to uh, tidy it up and get it ready for painting. Alright, I'm now painting the battery box with uh, a very, very hard resin paint that is um, waterproof, um, chemical proof and flame resistant as well. So it's, uh, it fits all the specs for the uh, New Zealand rules. So I'm just putting a good thick layer of it on there, then I'll put another coat on afterwards. While the special paint's drying for the, the rear box, we're now going about creating a surround for the batteries to stop them moving about. Well, the batteries are now supported in with their little supports around the sides there and the and underneath. And we're now going to use some steel, stainless steel strapping to um, secure each battery in individually. To help insulate it, we've put each of these uh, stainless steel straps through some clear PVC piping. You can easier see said than done. It was easier said than done. It was a pain in the backside getting it through there, but we've got it there in the end and it's looking quite snazzy. This is number one we're just putting on. Okay, we've got the front batteries in at last. Uh, as you can see, we've used a stainless steel strapping with a PVC uh, clear pipe going over the top of the batteries just to make sure that it's strong but uh, but also insulated and looks quite good as well. Uh, you can see we've also got a, uh, a board around each edge of the batteries um, and there's a board underneath and under that rubber uh, insulation as well just to take all the vibration out of the batteries and, and all that. So they're a nice and snugly. Um, We've also just about finished the uh, the bottom half of the battery box. Now, as you can see, uh, the painting is pretty much finished. Um, this is now pretty watertight and uh, flame retardant and all that stuff. So, uh, apart from all the bugs that have decided to kamikaze their way into the paintwork while it was wet, uh, it's pretty much all done. I'm just going to get this in the boot now, and uh, then put the batteries inside and get my welding guy out here to create a clamp down. In the meantime, I'm going to install some speakers into the back of the car. The Tredia doesn't have any in the back there. The speakers are installed now, looking pretty good. Well, I've decided to use stainless steel strapping for the back battery racks after all. Uh, that'll allow me to uh, save a bit of money and get the racks installed uh, within a few days, as opposed to getting my welder out here and getting something made up. I'm now sealing up all the edges on the battery tray, or the top of the battery box anyhow. I've done the same with the uh, with the bottom half of the battery box. This will make sure that no gas escapes while the batteries are charging. It will instead go out through the ventilation system I will install very soon. I'm now putting the same flame retardant paint on the inside of the top half of the box. Top half of the box is looking good. Well now we're going to secure the rear batteries 
and uh, then we can start installing the top half of the box onto the batteries. Now I have the strapping in place, I'm just going to install the box on top of it. I'm now off to the hardware store to go and get some more flexible pipe that will protect the steel strapping from damaging the batteries. Just got back from the hardware store with some clear PVC tubing which I'll be using to protect the batteries. I'm just going to slide this over each steel strap before it wraps around each battery. All three batteries are now secured in using the stainless steel strapping. Uh, it's very strong, they're not going to move in a hurry. I've now got to make the top half of the box fit onto this lot. Now I've just got to modify this box top a little bit so it'll uh, work around the straps now and just the lips of the batteries. Does it fit? This is take two. Didn't fit the first time. Hey, look at that. Hey, that's perfect. Brilliant, awesome, good stuff. Okay, battery box goes in, brilliant. Time to uh, seal it down now. All right, I'm now gonna surround the top of the bottom half of the box with this uh, adhesive foam surround, which will sit in between the top and uh, bottom sections and uh, stop air uh, gas from escaping while the batteries are charging. Just gonna screw in the, uh, the two extraction fans now that will be running when the car's charging and when the car's driving, as per the New Zealand rules. Okay, I've completed the installation of the battery box. Finally, all the batteries are secured and the box is complete. I've also installed, ignore this, this is the uh, charging cables, but I've also installed a relay at the back there, um, as well as the turbo timer. Those two are working in harmony so that when I plug in the um, charging cord here, which is just hanging down at the moment, when I plug this in, you can just hear that the ventilation fans, you can see one of the two, here, there's another one around the back there, which I will attach some hoses running out to these vents here, which are quite conveniently located. And the turbo timer and relay mean that when the plug is plugged in and charging the car, not only can I not turn on the ignition, nothing will happen. Not only that, but once I unplug this, the fans keep going for another three minutes. Uh, which is what the turbo timer is set to, which is one of the New Zealand rules. Now, what also happens, in three minutes from now, when those things stop, not only can I, can I now turn on the ignition, but the fans automatically kick in again. And once I've turned off the ignition, the fans will keep going for another three minutes extracting air. Let me show you how the battery box looks from inside. As you can hear, the fans are still going, so I've put a little easily disconnectable plug at the back here turns the fans off and allows me to disconnect these simple latches and take the sealed uh, cover off the battery box, revealing all the batteries nicely tied down. And to uh, put it back on, I simply put the box back on, which seals once so I clamp these down and plug in the ventilation fan system. And it kicks back into life because the turbo timer hasn't uh, it hasn't been three minutes since I turned off the ignition. So everything is going perfectly. Now I just wait for the cables to come back from uh, my crimping guy over in Tauranga who's uh, crimping the cables for me. And uh, this weekend I shall start installing all the cables and with a little bit of luck we shall do our first test drive this weekend. Let's hope. <laughs>